Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the chafing dish of 1912, we're going to be making the spiced tomato sauce sandwich. First thing we have to do is peel some tomatoes. Now I know I could cut an X in the bottom of this and put it in some boiling water, but I'm going to use my serrated peeler. <laughs> now we have to chop up the tomatoes. Now we're to stew the tomatoes. Does it say for how long? <laughs> of course not. We also have to reduce down a little apple cider vinegar with a small piece of garlic in it. Alright, now we add in sugar, horseradish, red pepper, salt, onion, combination of allspice, clove, cinnamon, and mace, and a few celery seeds. And we cook this for about 15 minutes. Now we add in our reduced vinegar and cook for another 10 minutes. Alright, now we let that cool completely. Okay, now we have to toast up thin slices of bread. Now we butter our toast. And add on our spiced tomato mixture. Okay, let's give this spiced tomato sauce sandwich a go. It's good, I mean, it's basically a chunky tomato ketchup. <laughs> but it is actually good. I'm getting those warm spices in there, a little punch of the vinegar. Not really noticing the garlic that was in the vinegar, but what are you gonna do? It's pretty tasty, but I do wanna plus it up. So I'm gonna break one of my own rules and add meat to a sandwich that doesn't already have it. That's right, I fried up some hot dog slices. Okay, let's give this spiced tomato sandwich plussed up with uh, some cooked slices of hot dog. A go. It goes well. And I wouldn't say it totally steals focus. It does a little bit though. I know a lot of you don't like ketchup on your hot dogs, but to me, it actually does go together pretty well. So I should note that I actually scaled down the recipe from the original recipe to about a quarter of it. Um, that's because I'd never made this before. I didn't know what it was gonna be like. I didn't wanna have it sitting around if I hadn't tried it yet, but it was good. The uh, spiced tomato sauce sandwich was basically a nice kind of homemade rustic ketchup. Um, not bad between bread, not really a sandwich that I wanna eat for lunch, but flavor-wise it was pretty good. As the sandwich goes, I don't know, five and a half maybe. Um, I don't know if I want to eat a ketchup sandwich. Plus up with some uh, sliced cooked hot dogs. That's like a seven and a half. That is a tasty combination. And I know, I know, I broke my own rule, but I just couldn't help it. It sounded so good and it is good. And I'm going to finish it. Will I make this again? Probably not. It's a little bit of a pain to make the tomato ketchup, sorry, spiced tomato sauce. Um, and I just don't really feel it's worth the effort, but I'll finish it. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.